I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This is a Yamaha U1. I have done a ton of U1s over the years. I've done a ton of U1 videos. These pianos are just super popular. They are workhorse pianos. They are, they have the brand name Yamaha, brand name Yamaha which, which many people recognize. And, and I just had another one come in yesterday. People that that say, we don't know anything about pianos, but our piano teacher said to look for a Yamaha. That's a, that's a very typical refrain that I hear many times. Yamaha is just a very well-known, well-beloved instrument brand name. By this time, 1977, Yamaha had very much established themselves in the North American market in, the, in, in, uh, in, in the West. It was, it was really by 19, about 10 years earlier than this, 1966, 1967, that, that Yamaha was really starting to take a bite out of American manufacturing. And that's just, that just sort of opened the door for, for Asian manufacturing in general of, of pianos, which has, of course, dominated man, uh, piano manufacturing for the last few decades. And that all started really, frankly, with the Yamaha U1. This is, this is the best-selling piano of all time, the Yamaha U1, I think in large part because it's a great piano, but also in large part because it has remained in production year after year after year after year. There's just so many years of U1s that have been manufactured. Okay, this particular U1, I actually really, really like the tone. Generally, I'm much more of a fan of, of darker, warmer, richer, rounder tones than I am of bright, bright tones. And, and, and we actually have two U1s, this, this uh, 1976 satin U1. This one is more of a typical Yamaha, kind of bright, more poppy sounding. This one more conforms to my personal taste. And by the way, there's not a right answer, absolutely not. They, uh, as, far as, as far as tone, some people prefer the brighter, poppier tones, and, and I don't mind. I mean, I would, I would absolutely love to play that one, but just for like my, my personal playing, if you know, turn off all the lights at the end of the day and just like exhausted and sit down and play, I would play on a darker, on a darker piano. That's, uh, that's what I like. So you'll actually, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of contrast the two. You'll hear two, two U1s voiced very differently. Okay, this, this piano is in perfect condition. I'm gonna say cosmetically, I think you'd be hard pressed to not say that it's an A plus. It's perfect, cosmetically. Maybe if we really, really nitpicked, we might be able to find something as I look around you know, before I started making this video, and now as I make this video, um, I see nothing that I would even nitpick. So A plus. Then on the guts, we've done a complete refurbish on the guts, 1977, and yet it's clean, the hammers are reshaped, properly aligned, spaced, everything is lubricated, tightened, properly regulated. As you can see, there's all of these components in here. All of these components, uh, over time, they, they felt compresses and wears away, wood warps and every parts expand and contract and things go out of alignment and uh, all of these things you can imagine happens over time happens to pianos being a physical object. And so there's built-in adjustability and all of that is done on, on, all of our, on all of our pianos that we've refurbished. So uh, generally, we sell these pianos, we've sold them for many years, not just you ones, but, um, but uh, refurbished pianos in general. And generally, we sell them for about half the price of what they would be brand new. And yet, cosmetically and functionally, they're in virtually perfect condition. I'm not going to say perfect, but I'm going to say 95, 98%. That's hard 
thing to quantify, but uh, but that seems like a pretty good deal to to be to be at 98% of what you would be brand new as far as what you're getting and and half the price of what it would be if it were brand new. We just happen to have Adeline over here doing some regulation. Do you mind if we just have a look of the Sparkle piano? So so go ahead and yeah, what what she's doing right now is she's regulating the cap stands which give absolute perfect touch so you can see that things are are very much they're very touchy, let's say. It's it's very precise. It's a very precise procedure. You can see all of these tools that uh, that many of which are, are specific to the piano industry to to make the make the piano function correctly. Okay, let's listen to this piano. As I mentioned, this piano is is on the darker side. This one is quite a bit brighter. Yamahas kind of get a uh, they, they have the reputation for being brighter. Generally, they sound more like this. Sounds like a Yamaha U1. Which sounds good. My personal preference is this. say touch, tone, longevity, cosmetics. I'm going to give this piano an A on all four of those. Great piano, great value, great, uh, and, and by the way, half the price of, of what this piano would be if it were brand new. Seems like a no-brainer, and it looks brand new. I, I just don't see a downside here. Come check it out, see what you think. The address here is 1497 South State Street in Orem. Thanks for watching.